This is Matt Donnelly at the Wrap South by Southwest 2016 interview studio here with the filmmakers and cast of Another Evil. We have director Mr. Carson Mel, Mark Prooksh, and Steve Zissis. Welcome, you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Absolutely. So uh, what's uh, sort of the inspiration for The Exorcist character, if I can ask? Um, really just sort of like all the oddballs in the, the ghost hunting world <laughs> and in the like searching for Bigfoot world. Yes. I just love <laughs> people who are super passionate about things that might not exist, you know? Right. But they're 100% convinced. And I, I was lucky enough to go on some ghost hunts with some oddballs and I could really? pick their quirks and stuff, yeah. <laughs> got like kind of like super commitment. Yeah, yeah, big time. Is it hard to sort of entertain that, or do you believe? Oh, I completely <laughs> believe. Yeah, I'm a 100% believer. Really awesome yeah, and yeah. goes cool. Yeah. What about you two? I, I'm still on the fence. On the fence. Okay. Some days I believe. Some days <laughs> I don't. I believe in the spirit realm 100%. Awesome. Yeah. Did you do any exorcist homework? Did you? Uh, Carson and I w would go out to. There's a big a couple big malls in LA and we would, I would dress up and we would go into like the service entrances <laughs> and, and have me going through doing uh, ghost hunting oh in God. those areas. <laughs> and the idea was that Carson was my ex-wife filming this on the, the uh, phone. So that helped like yeah. kind of okay. focus some of the tone <laughs> and I, I, that helped me know what he wanted uh, uh, in terms of comedy and whatnot. So. Did you ever get busted by mall security? Oh, no. No. Was, we ran a couple times, so but we didn't that get busted. That was for fun. That was more <laughs> than anything. <laughs> Let me ask you the Empire, Empire Magazine question. Any interesting or paranormal activity on set while you're filming this subject matter? <clears throat> yeah, I had an a, a, a incident there where I was playing Ouija board with some friends, and we're talking to this spirit, and it said its name was Heidi. So because they freaked out, they wouldn't play anymore. I was like, okay, they're genuinely terrified. So I never told the story because just like mm. a name on a Ouija board isn't that interesting. Yeah. She's gonna come after her sag cut now. Yeah, right. <laughs> so then, but then eight months later, I went up there to work on a project by myself and I went into my dad's studio and a single book had been pulled off of the, a shelf and put in the middle of the floor. So I would read it right when I walked in and it was the book Heidi. Oh my God, stop. Yeah. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, guys, congratulations. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Thank, you so Thank you so much. Thank you so much.